Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on determining the equation of a line given the gradient and one point using the formula y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So we've got a line here, we've got a point that it goes through, a fixed point of 8, 3, and we're told that the gradient is minus a quarter. Now you may have learned at say something like GCSE how to do this kind of question. You use y equals mx plus c, you sort of fill in the m and you sub in these values to work out the c. Now you could do that, but you'll find particularly when you get to more complicated expressions where these for example might be algebraic, that actually using this formula which I'm about to explain will make things much easier. And I highly recommend that you do try to use this formula rather than the way that you might have previously learned how to do this. Trust me on this one. So, how does this formula work? Well, in general, if you have a line, a straight line, and you've got some fixed point, x1, y1, that it goes through, and you've got some known gradient of the line, so the gradient is m, then the equation of the line is y minus y1, using that fixed y1 there, equals m brackets x minus x1. So the m is the gradient, the x1, the y1 is this fixed point, and x and y are variables, because when you have the equation of a straight line, you'll have an x and a y in it, so those are the x and the y. How does it work? Well, one way of proving it, although it's not important for you to know, is that if you had, for example, another general point on the line, x, y, then how would we find the gradient of this line given those two points? Well, we know the gradient m is equal to the change in y over the change in x. Well, the change in y is y minus y1, and the change in x is x minus x1. And then if you just multiply through by the x minus x1, that gives you this formula here. So this is the key formula that we're going to use to solve this problem. So let's write out what we know for this problem. We know that the m, the gradient, is minus a quarter, because we're told that and we know that the fixed point is 8, 3. So that is your x1, y1. So the x1 is 8. The y1, the fixed point that we're using, the y value is 3. And then all we need to do is we just need to shove it into this formula here. So we've got y, which is just y, minus y1, which is 3, equals m, which is minus a quarter, and then we've got brackets x, and x is just x, minus x1, x1 is the x value, the fixed point, which is 8. And we get that. Now, the question could ask us to put this in a particular form. So it might be that we don't want to have any fractions in our equation, we just want whole numbers. So if that was to happen, all we need to do is, well, we don't like this fraction here, so what we do is we multiply everything by the denominator, the 4. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by 4, then we get 4y, minus 12 is equal to, well, if we times this by 4, it just gets rid of the over 4. We've still got the minus, so it's minus brackets, and then x minus 8. You don't times both that by 4 and that by 4. That's like saying if you had 3 times 3 and you want to make it 4 times bigger, you don't then make it 12 times 12, because that would make it a lot more than 4 times bigger. And then let's just simplify that. So we've got minus x, and we've got minus minus 8, which is plus 8. And that would be the final solution without using any fractions. If they don't ask for your equation in a particular form, then just leave it like that because that is the right answer.